this is actually the first time I bring the, the political pop into the scholarly Chinese painting. During early 80s, I created a series of ink works. These works actually present the beginning of the contemporary movement. And also, these works I got, really got trouble. Uh, uh, in my first solo show, was closed down by the authorities in, in 86. I invented a, a series of unreadable Chinese characters. The authority thought about something unreadable may have had meaning behind. And they, they thought about it as kind of suspicious. The main pop concept about this series actually is about a, the structure of the, the words. The middle one actually is a combination of two characters. The right one is about uh, the structure of the characters. And the last one actually is the kind of overlapping characters. During the Cultural Revolution, you always talk about it right or wrong. So this is the negative and positive. They're both positioned in the wrong. So the right meaning of the character is reversed. The shell closed before the opening. Then the student got angry. They want to bring the work into the street to protest. And then the shell reopened. Our historians describe that moment like a, the center of an earthquake for the traditional Chinese painting. I started to rewrite or reinvent the Chinese characters. We can talk about the other work, the work with the cross and the circle. And that work actually marked as the first ink art performance. Six of my students, each one of them drew one character, which is a quiet steel. Then I used red cross and red circle to criticize these students' work. The teacher always do this kind of circle and a cross. And the other meaning is actually is from the Cultural Revolution. In the big posters, if you're supposed to be a bad person, you will be a cross. And if you're a right person, you always circle.